So in this tutorial, we're going to look at uh, placing models in physical space using the Fologram QR code command to create a QR placement marker. It's really important to use the uh, QR code placement of any models which are being used for fabrication tasks, as this will enable precise and repeatable placement within physical space, so that you can come back to um, the model in the same location after restarting a session of Fologram, restarting a device, if tracking is lost, or if you've moved your model, physical model around. We recommend that when you're using uh, placement codes, keep these placement codes fixed to a physical work surface, which is also fixed to the physical part that you're making. This is going to maintain the same relative position between the physical code, your physical part, and the holographic part, which is located with this code. And it means that you can move your physical object around in space without needing to replace um, and realign your model with a, um, a QR code. So to create a placement code in Fologram, you can use the Fologram QR code command. And the command just lets you specify a position for this placement code. So wherever you um, locate this code in your Rhino model, when you lock your holographic model onto this code in physical space, the holographic model is going to appear in the same position in physical space relative to this code as it is in your Rhino model relative to this code. Generally speaking, we're creating placement codes just at the origin. So I'm going to create one at 0, 0. And then I'm just going to set that uh, the orientation of the code along the X and the Y axes. You can enter a label for the code if you're creating multiple codes and make sure you choose a paper size which you're going to be printing this code out on because you need to print the code at exactly one to one scale or else Fologram is going to incorrectly um, identify the depth of the code and you won't be able to place your hologram accurately. So once you hit enter, um, Fologram is going to create a PDF of the code uh, I've already got one open, that's why I can't uh, create it. So I'm just going to hit escape here. It'll create our code. Um, you can print this off, print it off at exactly one to one scale, and then you're going to fix the, um, this QR code so that the crosshair in the bottom left corner of the code is where you want the zero, zero point um, of your model to appear. Uh, in your physical space. So you're going to align this bottom left corner of the code and the X and Y axes of the code with your physical workspace so that your model appears in the desired location. So I've printed off a code here and located it precisely in the corner of my desk. I was using this for doing some drift uh, checks earlier. And we're going to snap our model onto this code. And we should see our uh, hologram appearing around here because that's where it is relative to this code in Rhino. So to place a model with a placement code, you go into the edit menu and then tap snap or on the whole lens, you can just open the hologram menu and then choose the snap to QR code tool. So we're going to pick snap. We're going to scan this QR code and hologram is going to snap our model onto the QR code. I haven't scanned much of this space with um, my phone yet, so we're getting reasonably poor tracking, but we'll see it appearing here on the desk. So if we were assembling this object, say I was locating these contours uh, using this holographic model, we'd want to make sure these contours are also fixed to the desk so that if I needed to replace my model, it would show up in exactly the same spot relative to these um, physical uh, contours.